Bail Presta Organa was a human male Alderanian politician and revolutionary leader who was one of the founding members of the Alliance to Restore the Republic. During the final years of the Galactic Republic, Organa represented his homeworld of Alderaan in the Galactic Senate and, in this role, was a prominent and outspoken proponent of peace and democracy amidst the Clone Wars. After the rise of the Galactic Empire at the end of the war, Organa retained his seat in what became the Imperial Senate but he secretly began organizing resistance movements to combat the fascist order. Organa became an architect of the early rebellion against the Empire, believing that the Empire could be destroyed and that democracy would reign over the galaxy once more. A member of the Alderanian royal family, Bail Organa became the viceroy of Alderaan upon his marriage to Breha Organa, who ruled as queen. In the years after the invasion of Naboo, Bail entered the Galactic Senate to represent his home planet, and he formed ties with fellow progressively minded senators, such as Morn Mothma of Chandrila, Onaconda Far of Rhodia, and, later on, Padme Amidala of Naboo. Together, they strived to maintain democracy and loyalty in the Republic amidst the burgeoning separatist crisis. In spite of their efforts, the Republic entered into the Clone Wars with its splinter state, the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In addition to his senatorial duties, Organa involved himself in humanitarian causes, leading relief efforts for the embattled peoples of Christophsis and Ryloth, as well as organizing the Alderaan Refugee Conference to address the growing number of refugees displaced by the war. Organa and his allies were vehemently opposed to the war and led efforts to de-escalate and bring about a diplomatic solution to the conflict, but they faced opposition from militarist senators and corporate entities. A bid to overturn legislation expanding the Republic's military output not only failed to pass in the Senate but led to the murder of Senator Farr. As the war drew to a close, Organa, Mothma, and Amidala petitioned for the increasingly authoritarian Supreme Chancellor Shiv Palpatine to rescind his wartime powers at the end of the war. To their horror, Palpatine instead declared the Jedi Order guilty of treason and announced that he would transform the Republic into an empire. In the chaotic days following the war's end, Organa, a longtime ally to the Jedi, helped the fugitive Grand Master Yoda and Master Obi-Wan Kenobi escape the Empire and go into hiding, and witnessed Amidala die in childbirth. Taking one of the late Amidala's twin children, Leia, as his adopted daughter, Organa continued to hold his seat in the Imperial Senate alongside Mothma. Though the Senate no longer had the power it did under the Republic, Organa and Mothma did what they could to combat Palpatine's reign politically but also became involved in underground resistance. Using Alderaan's wealth and their positions of power to their advantage, Bale and his wife organized clandestine operations to help planets subjugated by the Empire and searched across the galaxy for insurgent groups that could help form the foundations of a revolution. Organa recruited former Jedi Ahsoka Tano to his cause and, with her aid, started coordinating the growing number of rebel cells, helping groups such as the Phoenix Squadron and Masasi Group expand. Over the years, he and Mothma began secretly crafting a unified rebellion out of the vast network of people and resources at their disposal. Though the Empire made increasing attempts to crack down on their rebel cells, Organa and Mothma continued with their struggle and, when Mothma publicly denounced the Empire and resigned from the Senate, their resistance was formally unified as the Alliance to Restore the Republic. While the fugitive Mothma began working directly with the Alliance, Organa stayed a member of the Senate, but his disillusionment led him to become a part-time member and eventually give his seat to Leia, who discovered her father's rebellion and proudly joined in his fight. As the conflict between the Alliance and the Empire grew, Large-scale warfare was becoming ever more likely, and Organa returned to Alderaan on the eve of the Battle of Scarif to warn his people that there would be no peace. Though the Rebel Alliance won its first major victory in the Galactic Civil War at Scarif, Organa and his wife were killed when the Death Star, an Imperial superweapon, destroyed Alderaan just days later. <laughs>